Have you ever experienced a film that lingers in your mind long after the credits roll? The Lost Weekend, a 1945 movie, plunges into the tumultuous journey of an alcoholic writer grappling with his addiction. Perhaps you remember the first time this classic graced your screen, or the standout performance of its lead Hollywood actor. This film, directed by Billy Wilder, delves into the harrowing reality of alcoholism with unflinching honesty. Its portrayal of the protagonist's struggle is both raw and unforgettable. Did you know that this movie was groundbreaking for its time, shedding light on a subject considered taboo in mainstream cinema? Your cherished memories or personal experiences tied to this film could be as poignant as the narrative itself. Share your stories and connections below, we'd love to hear them. The impact of The Lost Weekend often extends far beyond the screen resonating with viewers in profound ways. Let's reminisce and celebrate the enduring impact of this cinematic masterpiece. Share your thoughts, memories, and reflections. In the 1945 movie The Lost Weekend, Billy Wilder made history by winning both the Best Director and Best Screenplay at the Academy Awards first to achieve this feat. The film revolves around Don, who finds $10 in the sugar bowl, equivalent to $160 today, using it to buy alcohol. Interestingly, Cary Grant and Joss Furrow were considered for the lead role. This movie sheds light on alcoholism and its gripping effects. Billy Wilder's dual Oscars set a benchmark in cinematic history. The Lost Weekend made a lasting impact, reaching far beyond its runtime. Its portrayal of alcoholism struck a chord with returning soldiers dealing with post-war trauma. The movie's raw depiction resonated, shedding light on the struggles of many GIs grappling with PTSD through alcohol. This profound effect echoed through time, even influencing John Lennon's description of his own tumultuous period as a lost weekend in Los Angeles years later. Ray Millen's dedication to his role by drastically altering his appearance further emphasized the film's commitment to authenticity. His extreme crash diet to embody the look of a man in the throes of addiction demonstrated the lengths actors go to for their craft. This commitment to realism added a visceral layer to the film, intensifying its impact. The Lost Weekend remains a poignant exploration of addiction's harrowing effects, its relevance stretching across generations. Ray Milland, upon receiving the novel from Paramount's chief, initially doubted the story's potential for a film. The bleakness seemed insurmountable, leading Milland's associates to caution against taking the role, fearing it could end his career. Surprisingly, this was also the first instance where a film crew was allowed to shoot within New York's Bellevue Hospital. The title's typo revelation came later, as Billy Wilder discovered The Lost Weekend was meant to be The Last Weekend. These lesser-known aspects illuminate the challenges and surprises behind the making of this impactful movie, adding layers to its history. Nichols Arza, acclaimed for his musical scores in Spellbound, and this film, introduced to their many unique instrument creating eerie sound into The Lost Weekend's soundtrack, notably in the nightmare sequences. However, its use sparked controversy as David O. Selznick initially threatened legal action due to its presence in both films. Despite Arza's belief in the strength of The Lost Weekend's score, Spellbound clinched the Oscar. Interestingly, this movie faced backlash from temperance groups misinterpreting its portrayal. The Ohio Temperance Board objected to a line hinting at Prohibition's role in alcoholism, leading to disputes between the board and Paramount. Ohio won, resulting in the removal of contentious lines. Concerns over British sensibilities prompted a special trailer and subtitle for the UK release, warning audiences about the film's stark depiction and powerful moral. These controversies surrounding its themes highlight the societal reception and challenges faced by The Lost Weekend. Paramount Studios harbored doubts about releasing a film delving into adult themes, nearly scrapping it when early screenings faltered. Initially hesitant due to its gritty portrayal, the studio nearly buried the project. Yet, despite these reservations, The Lost Weekend emerged victorious, becoming a critical success and an Academy Award winner. This success story marked a significant turn for a film that almost met its demise. Jack L. Warner's reluctant loan of Jane Wyman to Paramount for the film, dubbed the Drunk Film, underscores the skepticism surrounding its potential. Ray Milland, committed to authenticity, delved into the role's preparation, spending a night as a patient in Bellevue Hospital. 
To mirror an alcoholic's reality, he altered his eating habits, replicating the tendency to neglect regular meals. This dedication to embodying the character's struggle demonstrates the lengths actors go to for their craft. The film's initial uncertainty juxtaposed with its eventual triumph highlights the unpredictability of cinematic success, showcasing how a project on the brink of abandonment could evolve into a celebrated classic, standing the test of time. During a train journey from New York to Hollywood in 1944, director Billy Wilder stumbled upon a book that would shape cinematic history. Titled The Lost Weekend, this chance discovery sparked an idea that would lead to one of the most impactful films of its time. However, the road to success for The Lost Weekend was far from smooth. At its first public showing in Santa Barbara, the intense portrayal of alcoholism elicited an unexpected response from the audience as he laughed. From the discovery of a hidden bottle to the pouring of whiskey down the sink, the serious subject matter was met with amusement. Preview cards ranged from labeling the film as disgusting to suggesting the removal of the themes related to drinking and alcoholism. Despite the initial setbacks, the dedication of the lead actor, Ray Milland, added a layer of authenticity to the film. In an effort to understand the horrors of a drunk ward, Millen checked himself into Bellevue Hospital, locked inside the booze tank. His escape onto 34th Street, mistaken for a genuine patient, added a real-life twist to the movie's making. As the film faced skepticism from Paramount Studios and underwent challenges during previews, its eventual triumph at the Academy Awards marked a significant turn. The story behind The Lost Weekend goes beyond the screen, from its unexpected beginnings to the perseverance that transformed it into a celebrated classic. Ray Milland, initially hesitant about his acting capabilities, was persuaded by his wife to seize the opportunity in what would become his iconic role in The Lost Weekend. Tempted by the success of Billy Wilder and Charles Brackett, Millen took the chance. His doubts were unfounded, as Wilder confidently predicted Millen's Oscar win upon the film's completion of prediction. That proved accurate. Despite not being a heavy drinker, Millen's commitment to realism led him to attempt getting drunk for the role, often ending up on his knees in a bathroom. This dedication to authenticity, coupled with his transformative performance, solidified The Lost Weekend as a cinematic classic, and earned Millen the coveted Academy Award. As we bid adieu to our cinematic journey through the labyrinth of The Lost Weekend, let the echoes of this timeless masterpiece resonate within your thoughts. The film, like an old friend, weaves its narrative threads into the fabric of our emotions, unraveling the complexities of human existence and the haunting dance with one's inner demons. Now, dear reader, take a moment to reflect on the intimate connection you've forged with the characters and their struggles. Perhaps you found solace in the shadows of the storyline. Or maybe you glimpsed fragments of your own journey mirrored in the poignant scenes. Share with us your cherished musings, your whispered confessions inspired by the unraveling drama of those lost weekends. Whether it's the haunting allure of the cinematography or the haunting familiarity of the characters' struggles, every viewer carries a unique piece of the lost weekend within them. We invite you to unravel those memories, dust off the cobwebs of nostalgia, and breathe life into your reflections. The beauty of cinema lies not just in the frames captured on celluloid, but in the stories etched onto our hearts. Thank you for embarking on this poignant expedition through the labyrinth of the lost weekend. Your time and contemplation are treasures, adding depth to the collective experience we've shared. Until our narratives intersect once more, let the resonance of this cinematic masterpiece linger in the corridors of your thoughts.